Hi, I'm Laura, and welcome to the third of our Seeing Green virtual program series. Today we'll be learning how to make reusable beeswax bags out of cloth and beeswax. These are really great because they're water resistant and they're also re resealable as long as you just fold the top over and then press tightly and the warmth of your fingers will warm the beeswax and create a seal. They also are an alternative to single-use plastic bags, so that's great for the environment too. For this project, you will need some cotton cloth, a pair of scissors, a ruler, some beeswax, yojoba oil, some parchment paper, and a grater. The next step requires a sewing machine as well. First, you'll want to measure and cut your cloth to a desired length. You can make the bags as big or as small as you like. I made this one about 14 inches long and 7.5 and inches wide. Fold the cloth in half once you've got it measured and cut. With the fold facing away from you, clamp your cloth down and sew a seam along the side of the bag, leaving about two inches or a thumb's length from the top unstitched. It should look like this. Repeat the same process on the other side. You should have a little sewn bag with a two inch flap on each side. This will make it so you can pinch and fold your finished product for a secure seal. Next, you'll want to shred your beeswax. This makes it so you can evenly and easily spread the wax over your sewn bag. For the waxing process, roll out a sheet of parchment paper across your ironing board. Place your sewn bag on top of it. Ready your other materials being the wax, the yojoba oil, and the iron. Cut a second sheet of parchment paper and set it aside. Then sprinkle the wax over your sewn bag like you would cheese on a pizza. Don't leave any crust, you'll want every edge of the bag covered. Then drop yojoba oil carefully around the bag at various points. It will spread out as the wax melts. Place your second sheet of parchment paper over everything and iron. I've set the iron here to medium heat. Once you've evenly ironed across the bag and you see that all of the wax shavings have melted, pull up your top parchment sheet and check your work. If there are any unwaxed edges or sections, sprinkle some more wax shavings on those areas, return the parchment paper, and iron again. Once you've finished ironing and all the pieces of the sewn bag are waxed, lift up the top parchment sheet. Carefully peel up the waxed bag, but really be careful, it will be hot. Now you'll want to separate the insides of the bag before the wax dries. Do this by pulling the sides apart and blowing some air into the bag. The sides should separate easily. Let's look at the process again. Sprinkle the wax shavings, drop on some oil, place a top sheet of parchment paper on the sewn bag and the wax shavings, iron on medium heat. You can see here I'm trying to push the wax to the edges of the sewn bag but I just reapply shavings to any parts that I missed. Iron again. Peel up the bag and separate the sides. And now you've got a reusable beeswax bag. So there you have it, reusable beeswax bags. You can see there's different styles that you can make. This one has a sort of double flap here so you can pinch and fold and this one is just a fold over flap. You can also leave the seams on the outside or flip the bag inside out to create a seam like this. But all of it works. Thanks for watching!